Hey beautiful people, my name is Michelle. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for stopping back again. And if you're new to my channel, hey girl, welcome. In today's video, I'm just going to be, you know, planning some makeup again like I always do to create this beautiful look. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, all of the products that I use, stay tuned. But before you leave, please remember to Give the video a thumbs up, share with a friend, subscribe to my channel, and also turn on your post notification bell. That way you'll never miss a post, and I'll see you at the end of the video. Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to do my face, and um... You know, just because. To get started, I'm going to use this Milani SPF BFF Primer. It has SPF 30, which is awesome for this summer heat. Keeps you well and moisturized. My foundation, I'm going to use my e.l.f. and my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless 12 hour in 355. And the e.l.f. All right, I'm going to mix them on my tray. Just going to swirl it around on my finger. And Tap it in. All right, not sure how much I'll need, but that looks like it's enough. Okay, I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place brush to push that in my face. Hope everyone is doing great that's watching this video. Coverage is good. I've used this combination before. my cam my camera slightly at a slightly different angle so I hope it's better it's a little bit more higher than um, I usually have it all right I'm gonna try to see if I can do this makeup look very quickly I'm gonna want the video long and drawn out and ting, you know? I want it short and spicy. All right. This brush is nice. I remember I purchased it when Juvia's Place had a sale. I think I spent $22 for this set. I think there came like seven brushes in the set. Oh. Guys, I don't know what I did. Um, if you can see, like right here, it's not very big, but I have like a couple pimples right there. I use um, I was using the Skin Fix Cleansing Wash for my face, and then it finished. I said, let me try something else, even though I was like I I really really loved it. So I tried the um Ole. Cleansing wash and it had um, niacinamide in there. I'm not sure if that's what it was with my face starting to break out a little bit. So I'm going to have to stop and just get what I was using because we're too old to be getting pimples, right? All right. Face is looking good. I'm going to use the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in 
butterscotch. I'm gonna put it right under here. All right, and I will triangle. I'm gonna do this at the corner to help to lift up the face once I blend it out. I'm gonna put a little bit down the bridge of my nose. Forehead, chin, upper lip. I saw some new ways that people are putting their concealers and stuff, but I'm going to do it, but in my next video, because I wasn't ready. All right, I'm using my um, LYS bronzer stick in strength. Let me wipe this off. It's looking a little messy. Can't be showing you guys stuff like that. It's so cute. And we're gonna put it in this here area right here, and right here, right here, and right here. Like I put mine right above the hollows, right? I'm gonna contour the jawline, and then we're gonna contour the nose. Okay, great. Yeah, right there. That should be good. So we always blend out the contour first because you want the concealer to sit. The longer it sits, the better coverage. And I have so much left. All right, I'm going to use this brush and blend out the contour. Can you guys see? Okay. All right, we're going to blend going upwards. All right, and blend going back into your hairline. Let's move the mirror over a little bit. I'm going to put on my hair when I'm done. Ready, go up like so, and then Let's drag this down. All right, I'm gonna get this little angled brush. I used it already, and I'm gonna blend out the nose. trying to use my hold my brush all the way to the end so that my fingers aren't interfering what you guys are seeing okay all right that's good now I'm going to use this sponge I believe it's a it's a um a elf sponge All right i'm gonna use that to blend out my con concealer by now it's dry down right do the forehead do the forehead the forehead Farid. That's how we say it in Jamaica. Farid. Farid. <laughs> Do the farid. And the nose bridge. Nose bridge, right? Alright. Underneath the eyes. <laughs> Underneath your eye. Alright. Blend it out. Blend out the end first, and then move your way up to the top, okay? All right. Now, whatever is left over, you put it on your lids. And what that's going to do is just conceal any darkness that you have so that you know, when you put on your eyeshadow, it looks good. All right, 
blend out the other side. Alright. Push it in. Don't be too hard underneath the eyes. Take your time. You don't want an extra bag under there. Alright. And. Alright. There you go. Nice and seamless. I don't really need the brush. But I'm going to use the brush. Right. So. This is a foundation brush. And I'm going to just take it. Around. Around. On the edges. On the edges like so. You know. Then I'm still going to go in with my brush that I was using to do my nose. Just to, you know, clean up the nose contour of it. Right, like that. I hope I'm close enough to you guys. Normally I think I'm a little closer. But I hope you guys could see. Alright, run out the line. Alright, now for, for setting, um, today we want to use the Sephora. I was going to use my Black Radiance, but you know what? I noticed the Black Radiance, this one, got a brand new one. It kind of makes my under eyes a little dry. We don't want dry under eyes. Now before you blend it out, you want to look up to the sky right make sure you have no crease in and then you go in with your powder puff this one i got from amazon in a set three white and three black for like i don't remember maybe like six dollars take off the excess amount on the back of your hand first and then you're gonna look up again and you're gonna set Set the under eye, be very gentle so that you're not picking up any products, right? All right, now we're gonna do the other side. If your under eye is creased, really <laughs> creased, if your under eye creases really fast, what you should, what you can do is do one eye at a time, right? Okay, because you want your under eyes to be flawless. Let's blend out our lids again. And then we're gonna put some powder over the lids also. All right, I'm not really done setting my under eye, but it's not going to crease right now. All right, all right, now let's put some more under the eye. Sharpen up that nose like that. I'm gonna take it above her lip, kind of like that, too. Mm -hmm. Like you're blowing bubbles. That's just so you can get whatever crease you have in your smile lines, right? Make sure you get the corners of your nose because that's not cute. Okay. We're going to put some in the forehead. And then we're going to put some over the brows to keep the shine away. Right? Like that. And I'm going to put some underneath my brow bone here. All right. Let's put a little bit more down here. All right, put some in the center. And that should be good, right? Now, we're gonna be using this palette again. The NYX Ultimate.
Ultimate Paradise Shark. And of course, we're going to take the sort of peachy looking color here. No. Here. And need a nice kind of fluffy brush. I'm using this one from BH Cosmetics. I don't know if you can still get it. And we're going to just tap it. Let me zoom in on the eyes, please. Okay. We're going to tap in here. Alrighty. And we're going to blend out the edges. Just, you know, go in circle of motion. Blah, blah, blah. You know. I'm going to try just to do one eye on camera and then one off so that the time, you know, it'll go by. Time, it won't be so long. So guys, so as I'm doing my eyes, right? So I don't know if I said this in my last video. I think I wanted to say it, but I didn't. Someone in one of my videos, underneath my comment, in my comment section, um, I don't know this person. I don't even know if they're subscribed to my channel, but apparently, you know, they watch my video. Someone, so someone left a nice comment for me saying that, you know, they love my, my makeup, foundation, whatever the case may be. And then this person comment, someone said, oh, she looks so nice, face is flawless. So she went ahead and put, oh, you mean she looked like a hot mess? Too much makeup. She's wearing too much makeup. Um, natural is better. So my thing is, if you don't wear makeup, right? You don't like it, it's not your thing. Why are you over here? I do makeup. My channel is all about beauty, so why are you on my channel if that's not your thing? You know, I was going to block them and remove the comment, but I didn't, I left it there. So, I just commented back. Clearly you're bored. If, you need something to, you know, find something to do with your time. If makeup is not your thing, then you should not be over here because this is what we do over this channel. So, you know, it just goes to say people just find anything, anything to say. When you think you're doing something good, someone always have a problem. So, you don't like makeup, so why are you watching a makeup channel? Do you know, I, really, I wasn't really mad because I know I know that I can do makeup well. I know that. So, their opinion doesn't really matter. If I look like a hot mess, then that's just your opinion. Right? So we're just going in with the brown color. Putting that on the outer corner. Trick about the eyeshadows, guys, you just have to blend, right? You have to blend. Go back and forth and blend. The colors need to like fade into each other, right? You don't wanna say, well, this is where the orange starts, this is where the brown starts. They're supposed to like mesh with each other. And that's it. Once you blend, you'll be good. Don't rush. When you're doing your makeup, if you can't, if you don't have time, don't do this type of look. Then just do something like where you just put like a, a bronzer or something over your lids. If you don't have time to do it properly, do it, do it when you have time. So I'm just gonna go back with the first brush and take the peachy looking color 
and just blend at the edge of this one, right? I hope you guys I hope I have you guys zoomed in close enough. Right, right, right. So I just have to share that with you guys. You know, people just always have something to say. If you don't like makeup, ma'am, go off my get off my channel, please. So what I'm gonna do is use this chocolate color here. This one. So this here, this one right here. And I'm gonna put that on the front of my lid. I'm gonna use a kind of more fluffier brush. There's so many pretty colors in this palette. Okay. All right, let's move, move our hand out of the way. Taking it slightly above my crease. Okay. Alrighty. So now I want to get the brown that I was using and I'm going to take it for some reason I want to take it above this one for some reason the spirit <laughs> the spirit tells me to put it over here Did I tell you guys I'm obsessed with Nigerian movies? I am. I think I watch like two to three a day. <laughs> All right, so we want this dark color in here. That's what the spirit tells us to do. And you have to listen to the spirit when you're doing your makeup, okay? All right, so let's just go in with the first shade and just, you know, clean that up here a little bit. All right, so that's it. We can all, uh, let's put a little bit more on the outer corner here. That's it. Okay guys, so we finished the other eye. I put on a little liner. A little wing liner using the um, Absolute Blackout Eyeliner. Alrighty, just put on a little wing. Now, do you see if you guys look closely underneath here, you see like the fallout. So that's the importance of Putting the powder underneath there while you do your eyeshadow. So just in case anything falls out, it, you know, protects your face. You know, I polished my nails on Sunday and they're all chipped up. And I use the Essie polish. You know, Essie polishes are supposed to be good. I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, guys. I'm going to take this nice clean brush from, this is from an Amazon brush set. And I'm going to first rewind. Oops. That's how you rewind. I'm forgetting something. Very much so, something. I was looking for a black pencil, but I can't find it, so I'm going to use this green liner here. This is from Wet n Wild. Really? I'm going to put a little bit on here. You 
can't really see it that bright, but we know it's not black, right? Okay. I guess I'll do something a little different. Okay. Just use our clean finger and pull down on the lid. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm gonna take this palette and I'm gonna take the green color right up top and I'm going to get a flatter brush and and I'm going to use that to buff out this color it's going to intensify it a little bit more okay that's nice I like that. What do you guys think? That's different. A little summer brightness. Okay. Now I'm going to dust off the powder. I'm going to dust away whatever fall, fell out first. Now, what I like to do is use the same sponge and just like kind of, after you brush off whatever fall out, okay? You don't want to push the color in, the brown whatever color fell out on your face. You see? Flawless, right? All right, and then let's do the other side. Push that in. Okay guys, I'm going to take the Sephora um, Micro Smooth Powder. Girl, we have a little bit left in here. Do you see that? Whatever is there, we're gonna use it to set our face. It's barely there, but it's enough. I'm just going to put it around the per per perimeter, perimeter, <laughs> around my face. Perimeter, the perimeter, perimeter, perimeter. You know I'm Jamaican, right? Perimeter, we, <laughs> we pronounce out all the syllables. Perimeter, an American say, perimeter. But you guys know what I was saying. All right, Juvia's Place. And I'm going to go around my, I'm gonna bronze up my face, I'm gonna go around my forehead. All right, make sure you get into the hairline. And set the contour, brush it up like so. Now, around the jawline. Now we're gonna contour the nose using that same brush that we were using. All right, same powder. Uh, I like the eyes. They're different. All right, so make that, give it that Michael Jackson nose. All right, now that I put the powder down, I'm just going to make sure the lines are not so sharp by taking the brush and like going sideways like that. Like so, like that. Like Tabitha Brown would say, 
like so like that and I love Tabitha Brown guys so I was looking online the other day she has a blender she has a, um, a blender she has an air fryer she has a a pot set and you can you can get all of that at Target and I think the air fryer was like what seventy dollars which is not bad right guys you see the nose contour nice and clean right nice and clean all right now I'm going to take this palette here um, this is the uh, fruits cosmetics and I'll be taking these two peachy colors here one two orangey peachy and I'm going to mix them together and apply it to the face like right kind of towards the back mm -hmm. a little bit on the apples slightly and then take majority back here okay pretty right Alrighty. I'm going to take Miss Rare Beauty in flaunt of it on the tap it. <laughs> tap it off. Right on the highest part. Right here. So when I turn like this, bam, I'm blinding you. Mm -hmm. Okay, like that. You see it? Bam. You guys, don't mind me. I'm just being crazy. And um, I'm going to put some in the inner corner. We need some lashes, but we'll do that after. Okay. And then a little bit down the bridge. Make sure when you do this, you are extra careful. You don't want your nose to look crooked after all that time you spend contouring. Okay. You put a little bit on the nose tip. To make sure your nose have that little button. All right. Now you always go back in with your brush that you use to contour your nose to clean this up. First, you want to blend out the top part. You don't want it to just sit there, staring at people. Okay. Clean up the sides, guys. Clean up the sides. Okay. Now I'm going to set. I found this the other day. I was looking on Amazon and I found this L'Oreal Infallible three second setting mist. It's supposed to last up to 36 hours. I don't know who's going to test that because we don't wear our makeup for even 24 hours. So it says it's supposed to be transfer proof. We'll see, honey. So let me show this. Let me show it to you. So that's a cute little bottle. Honestly, uh, we thought it was a little bit bigger, <laughs> but I didn't even look at the ounces. I'm just gonna spray my face. Whew. Okay. It doesn't feel very wet. Okay. So, let's go put on some lashes and then I'll come back and do my lips. And then we're done. We're done with the video. Okay, guys. So, I'm back. Um, lashes are on. These are none other than... I lost the other part, but these are the Ardell 
um, wispy, wispy lashes. And I just put on a little mascara under my bottom lashes. And now we're gonna do our lips. My little matte chestnut pencil. To get a more powdier lip, a little fuller lip, overline a little bit, slightly, okay? So, I'm going right above my line, slightly. Not too dramatic, okay? Alrighty. I'm going to get my L'Oreal lipstick, this one, mm. let's use this one. I always mix them, this is 171, let's mix it with the other one. This one is 170, 178, yeah. This one is more peachy. All right. And as you know, I like to go back over my liner with my pencil. Especially on the sides. Then we can put a little gloss. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in stone. Let's see what's in there. Need to get another one. Okay. Oops. that's it guys so that's her face that's her you know some affordable some drugstore some not but what are you thinking I really like it you guys see my dress I'm gonna do a haul with this dress a few dresses that I have but that's the top of it okay guys so that's the face that's the finished look i hope that you guys enjoyed watching and i hope that you what learned something from this video it's coming a little closer you can see it you see those cheekbones popping mm -hmm. thank you mama and that's all i have for you and just like that, we have come to the end of the video. I hope that you enjoy this tutorial. I hope that it was very easy for you to follow. I'll be sure to leave the links of everything that I use down in the description section. Again, guys, if you love the video, remember, thumbs up. Thumbs up before you even start watching the video. You know you're going to love it, right? Thumbs up. Share with a friend, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your post notification bell. That way you'll never miss a post. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.